1867 Centennial Elevator. This is, the, this is the front pit. The truck dumps in there. That's really cool. How much can that hold? 16 bushels. Wow. The, the truck's coming here on the scale, and then they'd weigh the truck, and then they'd dump, they'd dump it in the pit. There's a pit right here where the grain goes in. Um, he would take samples, and he'd take it in the office over here, and he would grade it be a number one or number two, and then the protein, how much protein is, and that's when your grading process is, it's a protein, and what grade is, it's number one, number two, and, and uh, that'll be it, and then they weigh the truck and then dump it, and then that's what happened there, and then go into, into the elevator. It's just a newer version of it, eh? Yeah. This is a cup belt, they call it. Eh? Oh, yeah. This thing the elevator, like this, all these numbers are different bins mm -hmm. in the elevator. So you just turn it to which bin you want. Right now it's on the cleaner bin. It dumps the grain in the cleaner bin. I started farming when I was 16. And I'm 59 now, so I've been, I've like, I've been. I've been farming all the years, but uh, when this elevator quit, and that was, I'm guessing in the 80s, when this elevator quit, so then after that we were going to uh, How does the elevator run? Like, what runs it? You know, what motor runs it? Or? It's electric, it's all electric. Okay. It's three phase power. Like, that's, that's the electric motor runs away. And the cleaning mill is, is electric. It's all, it's all electric. The whole thing is electric. Okay. Who taught you how to run the elevator? what you know about the elevator? Well, the previous agent was uh, Pat Cochran, the last one that worked here. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, coming and helped him quite a bit. We used to clean, there used to be annex out here in the end, that we dumped the grain into extra, extra grain space. Mm -hmm. Then he'd haul it into the elevator here and then take the ship out to the cars. Um, so I get to know how the elevator operated with him doing that job. Um, do you still use the elevator for any reasons? Well, we still, a group of farmers, us farmers bought the elevator and we use it for storing grain and we use it for cleaning grain. There's a grain cleaner upstairs here and you clean grain with it and that's what we use it for. And it's of course the scale to weigh bales or what have you. Uh, why did we stop using the elevator? Well, the railway pulled out for one reason. Yeah. After the railway pulled out before the grain company quit. And it just got bigger. And now they wanted the grain to go to Swiffer into the main line to uh, have bigger train spotting cars. Like the, in the Swiffer at the terminal, they could spot cars up to 150 cars at a, in one place. But here they only do, was it 15 cars at the very most? So they kind of don't want to come down here no more. The back pit over here. Another back pit. When we take the grain out of this, these bins there, it dumps it in this back pit. Yeah. And they elevate it up again and comes around. And there's a little scale right here. Two. <laughs> this is a scale about 100 bushel acres, 100 hop bushel popper. Oh yeah. And it dumps it into the pit, back pit, and elevate it out and they dump it into the cars. The spout out back here is a spout. Oh, that's right now cool. we're using it to load trucks. That spout then was used for uh, loading the cars, but now we changed it to load the trucks. Eh? They oh yeah. Dump it to the railway car. Yeah. Yeah. It would have had to be yeah kind of change. That's so, that's really cool actually.